Hey there, Pisces, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your mid-month reading. This is going to be a reading for March 15th through the 31st, and we're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future energies. Also, Pisces, if this reading resonates and you want to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. And of course, if you enjoy what I do and you want to say thank you, donation link is also below, and any and every amount is greatly appreciated because your girl loves coffee. Lastly, Pisces, if you enjoy these free readings and you want even more, make sure to subscribe to my email list. I send out free extended readings every Monday only to my email list subscribers. You cannot get these readings anywhere else. Bottom of the deck, you get the Queen of Cups. The main energy for this reading is the Five of Swords. There's energy here of either you're self-sabotaging or you're lying to yourself about something. And I don't know which one it is, so we're going to have to clarify and see. Now, I say you, Pisces, because this is your reading. This could also be your person's energy, so take it as it resonates. Um, the number that I'm seeing is 21. I don't know if that number means anything to you. In the recent past, you get the Ten of Cups, Three of Wands, and the Six of Cups. You're showing me, I knew, like you're very, very happy here in the recent past. The Ten of Cups is one of the happiest cards in tarot. And you're showing me, like, I knew it was only a matter of time until I would feel this happy. And you are. You're very, very happy in the recent past. You're in a connection, or in a soul connection at least, um, with this person. And it's, it's good. It's beautiful. It's amazing. And it's very much an energy of like, it was only a matter of time till this would happen. I knew it would happen. Yay for me. In the current situation, something shifts completely. You get the world, the eight of swords, five of pentacles. Something ended here. I don't know if it's, it's the happy phase that ended. I don't know if it's the connection that ended. I don't know what ended, but something ended here. And you are showing me, first of all, pain of losing this person, this connection, whatever it is, and also lots and lots and lots of overthinking, overanalyzing, replaying and playing every single thing in your head. I said this, they said this, we said this, da, 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 da. lots and lots of overthinking. Um, here's the thing though, in the near future, you get the five of wands, ace of wands, nine of wands. There's this desire to have a new beginning, but also this energy of like, kind of like you being at your wits end. And you're conflicted because you're telling me on the one hand, I want a new beginning. On the other hand, I'm just like, I'm over this. Like, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. I am over it. Um, so I don't really know what is going on here. Something shifts from the recent past to the current situation. Let's see. Let's take a look. Five of Swords. Um, start clarifying. Five of Swords is the main energy for your reading for the mid-month. So let's see what that's about. Five of Swords is clarified by the Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. Now, you and this person, you're showing me, we're a divine match. Intellectually, like on a logical level, you and this person match with each other. You have endless conversations. You can talk for hours. You're both equally intelligent. You stimulate each other um, mentally. And you're showing me, like, I know that we'll be able to heal this. I know we'll be able to fix this. I know being the key word here emotionally, I don't see anything. I don't know if your heart's just not in it. I don't know if you're showing me like, oh, it makes sense for me to stay with this person, to fix things with this person. I don't know. I don't see feelings though, right? You're showing me I want to heal things. Or Sorry, it makes sense for me to heal things. I don't see the want. I don't see the feelings. I don't see, you know, your heart being in it. Now you are showing me the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck. It could just be that you're really overwhelmed and confused and like, you know, emotionally you're all over the place. Um, but it's almost like this connection, it's like we make sense with each other. The feelings are not the main component here when it comes to this let's heal things, right? It's like, oh, it makes sense for us to heal things, not we want to heal things. I don't know what this is about. We'll clarify. Let's get to the recent past. Start off with the Ten of Cups in the recent past. Ten of Cups is clarified by the Hermit, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups again. You and this person are really, really happy here in the recent past. And you're showing me Four of Pentacles. I don't want to let this go. I don't want to let this connection go. Deep down, you are happy. You're showing me the Ten of Cups twice. Not only are you very happy with this person, this person is also very nurturing to you. They're very supportive. They're very grounding. They're very caring. They're very much like, you know, the soft, amazing pillow that you lay your head on at night, emotionally speaking. Um, this person is really incredible. This connection is really incredible. And on all levels, here in the 3D world, higher self, you feel cared for, you feel loved, you feel supported, and you feel happy. 
you feel really, really happy here in the recent past. Let's look at the three of wands in the recent past. Three of wands is clarified by the two of wands, ace of cups, and the death rebirth. You're showing me like it's only a matter of time until me and this person take it to the next level. Like we literally, like the phase that we're in right now, we're going to level out of that. We're going to step into the next level. Um, I, it doesn't even matter how long you guys have been together. Like you're showing me if I thought at some point it would take me, you know, months or years to like take this emotionally to the next level and progress emotionally in the recent past, you're like, nope, it's not going to take me that long. Like I'm getting to the next level. I'm progressing emotionally much more rapidly than I thought I would. Um, it's like we're leveling this up <clears throat> emotionally and it's a good feeling. It's a really, really good feeling. You're very happy. It's like, you know, this makes, like, this is love. Love, happiness, emotional progression, like, beautiful energies. Let's take a look at the Six of Cups in the recent past. Six of Cups is clarified by the Hangman, King of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. You're showing me, though, despite the fact that this is a soul connection, this is a divine connection, and everything feels great, you do still, practically here in the 3D world, want to take things a little bit slower. You have no issue progressing, progressing emotionally, you know, like I love you, you know, being monogamous, whatever that is for each of you. But here in the 3D world, you're showing me practically, we need to take things a little bit slower. Like let's pump the brakes a little bit. So maybe your person's talking about like moving in together or, you know, opening a joint bank account. And you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Like I love you and all, you know, we're moving emotionally. Everything's great. But, you know, let's, 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 Let's reel it back a little bit. Let's remember that this connection is still growing. It's still developing. I need more time. Be patient with me a little bit um, in the recent past here. What is going on? Let's take a look at the current situation. I want to see what the world is for you in the current situation. World is clarified by the Three of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Page of Swords. So the fun, fun, happy, happy times have kind of ended right? In the recent past, it's fun. It's great. It's amazing. We love spending time with each other. Yay, yay, yay. That has kind of ended or come to an end in the current situation. I don't see you separating or breaking up, but I do see, you know, the, the honeymoon phase, all that, that's coming to an end. And that's kind of leaving you a little bit confused and in your head and kind of like doubting and questioning, like what happened? Why did the fun times go away? Why are we not as like, you know, playful and fun and and honeymoonish as we used to be. Um, I don't know what caused it to end or what caused this shift, but it's literally like, boop, it's over. Um, and that's confusing you. That's really confusing you, and it's got you doubting some stuff here in the current situation. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords in the current situation. Eight of Swords is clarified by the Two of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and the Chariot. You're spending a lot of time thinking about this connection because you're showing me I don't want to give it up. I don't want to let go of this connection, right? I still love this person very, very much. You're showing me the two of cups. Like you love them. You're still very much in a relationship with them. You haven't broken up. You haven't separated. And you're showing me like, I don't want to let go of this connection. And I don't want to give up on it. And I have this belief that like, we'll be able to move past this. We'll be able to get back on track. We'll be able to move, you know, past this not so great period where the honeymoon is over and we're both kind of like, okay, well now what, right? Um, you genuinely don't want to give up on this connection. And I see you spending a lot of time in your head trying to figure out, okay, this is where we are. How can we get out of this? How can we get out of this funk? How can we move in a positive direction? And let's make it quick. Cause like neither of us likes being in this like low vibe energy that we're in right now. Let's look at the five of pentacles in the current situation just seems like you're in a little bit of a funk or a little bit of a lull five of pentacles is clarified by the three of swords the five of pentacles again and the seven of swords you have this fear that despite the fact that you want to get out of this funk that you want to move you know forward in a positive direction with this person that this is going to end in heartbreak you're entering this with a little bit of I don't trust that we'll be able to get out of this. I don't believe that we'll be able to get out of this. Like you want to, right? You genuinely know, like I want to move in the direction of love with them. I don't want to give up on this connection, but you fear 
um, that it may not work, that you're just going to end up heartbroken here. And also that you're going to end up with this like energy of like, okay, I've lost them. I didn't want to lose them. I didn't want to give up on this connection, but I lost them. I can tell you this is not happening in the 3D world. This is just your fear because you're also showing me the seven of wands. You're feeling these things, you're thinking these things, but you're also kind of like resisting them. You're like, no, 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 this is just a thought. This is just a fear. I know this is not real. Like if we both want to work through this, we can work through this. But if you do experience these doubts, question marks, fears showing up in the current situation, you can hold space for them. You don't have to like let them overcome you. And I do see you doing a very good job of like walling them off and setting them aside and being like, okay, thank you for, for, your, for your input, fears and, and worries, but I'm good. Let's take a look at the near future. I want to see the five of wands in the near future. Five of Wands is clarified by the King of Cups, the Six of Cups, which you got in the recent past, and the Five of Swords, which you got as the main energy for your reading. You do love this person very, very much. And this is a soul connection that you share with them. You're aware of that, okay? But you're a little bit conflicted because remember I said in the recent past you were like pumping the brakes. You're like, hey, hey, let's slow down a little bit. You're wondering if maybe that kind of like threw a monkey wrench into this whole situation because you're showing me like everything was great. <clears throat> everything was moving in a good direction. Like did me pumping the brakes and like following how I felt in the recent past and really expressing myself what I truly wanted, what I felt, is that what kind of messed things up between us? Um, you're also showing me like I know that we can heal this. I know that we can fix this. You just don't know if your person is on the same page as you. Um I see a lot of your energy here. I don't really see your person's input. So I don't know where they stand. If they're like, okay, yeah, let's move past this. I hear you, yada, yada. Or if they're like, absolutely not. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I don't, I don't see their energy. So I don't know where they're at here in the near future. But I don't see you separated. I mean, I just don't see their energy showing up and voicing, it, voicing itself like in this reading. Let's take a look at the Ace of Wands in the near future. Ace of Wands is clarified by the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Not much is happening in the near future, but you know that you guys are moving towards a new beginning here. Slowly but surely, you're moving in the direction of getting out of this funk, getting over this like difficult period, and moving towards much more grounded, much more stable energy. Towards an energy where everything is balanced, you feel balanced, they feel balanced, everything is balanced. There's none of this up and down, you know, oh my gosh, are we going to break up type of energy. And I'm like, how are you so confident? How do you know? And you're showing me because we love each other. I love them. They love me. We can overcome this. This is just a little bump in the road. I love that. Let's take a look at the nine of wands in the near future. Nine of wands is clarified by the knight of cups, the star and the emperor. And despite the difficulties, despite the frustration, despite, you know, you being guarded, your person being guarded, you're still expressing your love. You're still coming in and giving them love and showing them that you care for them. And you're showing me like, this is what I want. I want to be with this person. I've made up my mind. It's not like a, I don't want to be alone. I'm so scared. It's literally like you are the person that I want. Is it difficult? Yes. Is this, you know, taking work on your part and their part? Yes, but you're both doing it. And it's coming from a place of genuine desire to be with each other which I absolutely love. All right, let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind here for this reading. From the universe, you get the Five of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Despite the difficulties that you and this person have gone through, despite this little bump in the road that you're experiencing, you know that you're both stable. You're stable, your person's stable. We're good, okay? We'll be able to move past this there's no need to let our history, whether it's with each other or with somebody else, get us in our heads, freak us out, psych us out. I'm good. You're good. We're good together. We'll be able to get past this. This is just a bump in the road. So Pisces, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you here on the next one.